Um, I'll have to ask you not to record while you're on premises either. Right. Well, the weather's minging, it really is. One minute it's raining, next minute it's snowing, next minute the sun's out, and it's bloody cold. I've even got my coat on yesterday, uh, today. I was walking around in my t-shirt last week. So, uh, that shows you what it's like. I've still got my shorts on though. <laughs> right. Just down here, we've got Highways England. So let's go and have a look at them. Unfortunately, it is spitting with rain and uh, it is quite windy. So I don't know if the Dread Drone will be coming out at all again today. It's been out once, but I don't want it to be out again today. But we'll see, see how things go. Here we are then, Highways England. What exactly do Highways England do? We'll have to have a look on the internet, won't we? Let's get a little bit closer first. I've got some police vehicles here, because police station's next door. I've got a collision investigation unit uh, vehicle here. So these obviously uh, investigate when there's been a an accident where somebody's been seriously injured or killed. Not what I think is a very pleasant job. And then this here is Highways England. So let's have a look on uh, on the Tinter web to see what they're responsible for, shall we? Right, so it says they're responsible for looking after England's motorways and major roads. Whether that be repairing or traffic or whatever. And uh, it says they do travel alerts, daily closures. They've got a help centre. Uh, and it says now that the uh, traffic officers get body cams. They are responsible for interim high court injunctions to prevent our roads from... Uh, being obstructed for protest purposes and it's telling us that there's uh, another boost to the economy a third A19 upgrade opens to traffic and it's telling you that uh, you can call SOS to get help faster and various other things I think it's partly responsible for a certain amount of driver education as well uh, if you go on the website, it's telling you about Susie Perry and uh, one or two others who uh, do a programme for them. You've got barriers and everything, and yet the gate's wide open. So, let's have a walk in, let's have a look. See if we can see anything. Tell you what I can't see at the moment, can't see any... Uh, charging points for electrical vehicles. Excuse me, sir. How are you doing? Um, I'm well, thank you. Yourself? Oh, you know, under pressure but bearing up. Okay, uh, can, uh, can I just ask what we're doing? I make YouTube videos and I'm just interested in Highways England, what they do, what they're responsible for. Okay, I'm going to ask, ask you to leave the premises. Right. Okay, because obviously you've just entered a, a private property here. Right, that's fine. Um, I'll have to ask you not to record while you're on premises either. Right. So have you got electric, oh that's an electric charging point. How many of those have you got? If you are wanting to film on site or anything like that, you'd have to make a prior arrangement. Right. Um, there are people you can contact, you'd have to go onto the website in order to... Right, it's just the gate were open, so I thought you could come yeah. in, you know. Oh, sorry, that's been left open by mistake. Ah, right. <laughs> so are you going to tell me anything about it then? What's Highways England responsible for? Um, find it online, sir. You what, sorry? You can find all the information online. Well, can't you tell me? Well, it's, it's not my my, uh, my area to say. Everything's available online. Right, okay, okay. thanks for your wonderful help. You're welcome. As I 
just say, if you need to contact them, all the details and information is available online. Okay, at the moment you're filming into a private property, you shouldn't be filming private property. I can film private property from somewhere that's public, mate. Very helpful, thank you very much. Yeah, all right. Very helpful. You know, you ask a simple question, what are you responsible for? Look on website. I think if they, uh, they don't want people to wander on site, they need to keep the gate closed. Oh, anyway, I was wrong. They've got one electrical charging point there. I can't see if they've got any more further up. Right. And then next door, oh, got uh, West Yorkshire Police. Someone's left a pile of bloody stones in the middle of the road that could easily flick up and smash your windscreen. Yes, yeah, a big police station, this one. And the wind has certainly dropped, so we might actually get the old dread drone out. And uh, see if we can get a few aerial shots, not only of the police station, which is just here, but certainly of Highways England as well. I think you were a bit rude. He obviously uh, likes to be in charge. Right. So anyway, let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the police station. It looks like a very very modern building. It uh, doesn't look like it's that old. Got loads and loads of security cameras about, which you expect at a police station. We've got four on a pole here. Look. I'm assuming most of these are private cars. Please do not pull open. Please wait for the gate to close before walking away. Thank you. Oh, that's what they were doing at, uh, at the other gate, that car. They were waiting for the gate to close before, uh, before they drove away. Obviously, just to make sure that the gate closed. I thought they might have been just making sure that I weren't going to run onto the police station. Which obviously I'm not. Right, let's go and have a look round at the other gate. See what we can see, if anything. So we've got another one going out. I don't know what this one says. Police in Yorkshire and the Humber. And he's once again waiting for the gate to close fully before he drives off. Got a good collection of video cameras though, videoing everything. Now I don't know if this is, because uh, there's not a lot of police vehicles here really. I don't know if it's a control centre or an actual police station because it doesn't look much like a police station to me. It looks more like a control centre. But, ah, could be wrong. You just never know, do you? So it says West Yorkshire Police. Ah, here we go. This tells us what it is. Look. Regional Scientific Support Services. So, uh, that's why the crash investigation uh, vehicle was down here. They must do all the other stuff as well. Possibly things like DNA and things like that, I don't know. Wouldn't tell you. And here you are, just to prove it, it says West Yorkshire Police in the Public Service. So I wonder if mainly civilians work in here. Because there is a lot of cars here. And very, very, very few police knocking about. And the police that I have seen have been of the crash investigation and crime investigation type things. So, uh, yeah, it's possibly 
mostly civilians I would think working here so for such a sensitive type area nobody seems to be that bothered down here so we've gone side by side anyway police and highways England right then West Yorkshire police as you can see a nice posh building nice view of a lake behind looks like it could be a, a nice place to work It doesn't look like there's any solar panels on the roof though, they think there would be, wouldn't you? And uh, the balcony, is it? Is it a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. It's like they've even got benches there for you to sit on though. Very nice. Air conditioning units. So let's just have a, a look along the let's have a look along the front of the building. It's a very impressive building. I wouldn't say it was a particularly deep building, but uh, yeah, there's um, nope, checking up. I don't know if I haven't done enough to up at the moment. But it seems to say they look, look like they're mostly civilians that work here. They do. And then on the other side, We have Highways England. I don't know why, uh, why the police car is going in there. Is it the police car, that one? But, uh, yeah, this is Highways England. I run along the front of the building so we can see what it looks like all the way across. Once again, no sign of solar panels on the roof. Got a big flat roof like that, and no solar panels. Uh, got a lot of highway uh, maintenance vehicles in here. Oh, it went to this car, it says Highways Agency on it.
No, it doesn't look like there's anything on the other side of the building. Landing. Oh, that's a good pair of legs. 